hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel once again and guys in this video today we are going to learn describe the benefits of using cloud services and uh, the benefits of high availability okay i hope this is going to be very well for you and uh, if you have not subscribed my youtube channel so far please do it right away and uh, definitely you will get uh, uh, very good uh, you know exam preparation Azure fundamental videos so let me begin with the very first one and the next thing we will see about the benefits of scalability okay all three are very important three question will be coming from each okay so guys make a note and uh, we'll see the first of all high ability okay so guys when building or deploying a cloud application okay if you are deploying or if you are building any uh, cloud application two of the biggest considerations are uptime one is availability and the next one is scale which is the ability to handle demand okay for example um, so today and i mean daily i get uh, 10 requests i am a, a retailer okay online retailer so i'm getting 10 requests but suddenly i if i'm getting 110 so that should be handled uh, smoothly okay i should not go to purchase one hardware server outside one operating system then install then then increase the uh, increase the capacity of uh, uh, like ram and all so that is not here in case of cloud environment here immediately we can increase and immediately we can decrease and to run that application to make that application function 24 by 7 and handle the, the increased demand immediately this scale function will be helpful over there and that is all about uh, this function made and uh, high availability let's see the very first one when you are deploying an application okay a service or any IT resources so three things you can see here if you are deploying any application or a service or any IT resources it's important that resources are available when needed yes so if you are deploying something yes you want to use it you want to utilize it that is why you are deploying it okay so it should be available high ability focuses on ensuring maximum availability so this feature high availability ensures you gives you like surety yes your application your resource will be available whenever you need it regardless of the disruptions of events that may occur even any disruptions or any any any, any you know any problem is there any failure is there is still your resource and application will be available that sort of surety uh, and insurance insurance you can say uh, high availability provides you and you can see yes why it is important because you want to run your business 24 by 7 and there should not be any disruption so for example uh, you have one server okay server one and they will keep one more server here server two so you have data here okay and they will mirror it to this even if your server one is down your data or application will be accessible from the server 2 that is why it is called like high availability okay and in this condition your resources will not be disturbed or failure even if the failure occurs your resource will be accessible that is the importance of high availability now let's see a little more when you are architecting the solution you will need uh, you will need to account for service availability guarantees and Azure is a high available, uh, high available cloud environment with uptime guarantee depending on the service. So, what kind of service you are taking? Okay, they give you guarantee of hundred percent uptime. Okay, at least nine, uh, five times nine, like ninety nine point triple nine, they will give you guarantee. And these guarantees are part of the service level agreement. Okay, they will give you service level agreement sign and signated like yes we will give you this much of time all the time even any failure is occurring so they make that kind of setup that kind of infrastructure at their end okay and let's see now about uh, 
so i hope you understood to keep your resources alive and up time i mean up 24 by 7 or whenever is needed high ability is responsible for that and that is the importance of high ability okay or benefit of the high ability it makes it makes available your resources to uh, users all the time <coughs> now let's see the scalability so guys another benefit of cloud computing so it is a benefit of cloud computing and in my one of uh, in my one of coming up video i will describe about the benefits of cloud computing there are lots of uh, uh, advantages or benefits we have so we are talking about as of now scalability only okay so this is also a major benefit of the cloud computing and uh, is the scalability of cloud resource the major benefit of cloud computing is the scalability of the cloud resources yes so scalability is all about like you know let's see uh, i will tell you a little more so scalability refers to the ability to adjust resources to meet demand okay so it is on demand kind of thing if i need uh, like you know today i'm using a server and the ram capacity is 4 gb immediately my demand increased to 8 gb so in immediately i can increase that one okay okay that is what i'm telling and if you suddenly experience peak traffic and your system are overwhelmed the ability to <coughs> scale means you can add more resources to better handle the increased demand <coughs> sorry <clears throat> so that is what it is called scalability okay so if any demand is increasing immediately your infrastructure should be able to handle or increase uh, the resources okay or add the resources to make it uh, capable to handle that demand increase demand the other benefit of scalability is that you are not overpaying for services because the cloud is consumption based model you only pay for what you use okay i spoke about uh, consumption model in one separate video so it is a model where you pay only for what you use okay if you are using 4 gb ram daily and if you are using today 6 gb ram so you will have to pay 6 gb ram cost for today only okay and uh, if the demand drops off you can reduce your resources and thereby reduce your cost okay and scaling generally comes in two variety one is vertical and the second one is horizontal so there are two variety in scaling so let's see about uh, vertical scaling so guys you know vertical scaling is you can see you should make a note there will be a question from this okay definitely vertical scaling vertical scaling is focused on increasing or decreasing the capabilities of resources so you should focus about this one the it is all about you know increasing and decreasing the capabilities of resources and horizontal scaling is adding or subtracting the number of resources so here increasing the capability of resources and here they are just adding or sub, sub, subscribing subtract subtracting uh, the number of resources okay just minimize um, minusing or reducing the number of resources you, you should say simple subtraction is just reducing it okay or ad adding means addition so either they are adding or they are removing the number of resources so these are the function of uh, you know scalability and advantage of scalability let's see about the vertical sc scaling okay so guys with vertical scaling if you were deploying an app and you needed more processing power okay you could vertically scale up to add more cpu or ram to the virtual machine very simple i'm telling you it increases the capability of the resources in vertical for example you have 4 gb ram you need 8 you can increase it that is all about vertical scaling okay and conversely if you realize you had over specified the needs you could vertically scale down by lowering the cpu and ram specification so now you do not need 8 gb ram so what you can do you can reduce it to 4 gb ram again once again that is why it is called 
vertical scaling let's see now the next one is horizontal scaling okay so you can see here you have 4 gb ram now you are scaling it to 8 gb okay making it little larger you are just increasing capability okay, cap, uh, capability okay now let's see about the uh, vertical oh little more example here so guys deploying application database to bigger instances a larger hard drive a faster cpu more ram cpu input output or networking capabilities and uh, in azure we can increase vm size there are limits to vertical scaling now let's see about horizontal scaling so with the horizontal scaling if you suddenly experienced a steep jump in demand you deployed resources could be scaled out okay either automatically or manually so you can either do it by manually or automatically is the horizontal scaling so horizontal scaling is what adding or subtracting resources okay for example you could add additional virtual machine so for example you have one virtual machine so you can add one more virtual machine here okay so you will have two virtual machine to handle the demand now let's see additional machine or containers scaling out or you can increase container also in the same manner if there was a significant drop in the demand okay now you are talking about demand so you can decrease you can remove this one you can run single virtual machine only or single server only so if there was a significant drop in demand deployed resources could be scaled in okay either automatically or manually scaling in and let's see the example this is what you are using one virtual machine now you are deploying more virtual machines adding one two three four five six eight nine virtual machine i have deployed here and added the resource so guys i am done with this video here okay i hope uh, you will learn the basic concept of uh, what is the benefit of ability what is the benefit benefit of scalability how it is important what is vertical what is horizontal uh, scaling what is the difference between both of them and uh, i'm asking for a small favor for me to just subscribe share and like the video and uh, next video we are going to learn like the benefit of reliability and the benefit of uh, predictability and performance predictability and cost uh, predictability so i hope you will learn about it also and uh, i will meet you in next video till then bye bye